back to my channel. I thought I'd film a what I eat in a day today. I miss doing these so much and I am looking forward to not trying to rush it because I am enjoying this last pregnancy but I'm looking forward to after having this baby getting back to eating healthier losing the baby weight and all that and um, making more of these videos but I thought I'd bring y'all one for a day share what I'm eating today do a little what I eat in a day and I done one of these last month something like that and y'all seem to enjoy it so I'm gonna make my coffee real quick I was gonna run and grab coffee this morning because I've got to go pick up a super super small grocery order um, and we just have a Starbucks open in our town that has a drive-thru, which is so exciting that we have that option now because we did have one in our town, but it was inside of a grocery store, which is not convenient when you have three kids to get out and go get coffee. Like, I've never done that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee, but the way I make my coffee now is identical to what I got at Starbucks. So, it tastes exactly the same. And so, I'm going to show y'all. It's a little different than I showed y'all last time. Um, I couldn't, I can't find my Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer that I love, but I actually prefer this way now. So, um, let me show y'all my favorite way I make coffee now. And literally, it's exactly what I order at Starbucks, and it tastes identical to it. And if you're new here, I'm Haley. I am 25 weeks pregnant when you guys see this. So, pregnant, not trying to eat any certain way. So, um, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there in case you guys might be new here, but I have done so many of these types of videos over the past few years. Um, what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers. I lost a lot of weight on Weight Watchers a few years ago, and between getting pregnant a couple times, I'm going to have to, after this baby's born, I'm going to have to have a lot of weight to lose, but that's okay. Anyway, so let's get started making this coffee so we can head out. I've got to run and do a couple things this morning. To start out, I have been using, I got picked up this cup at Walmart, and it is the perfect cup for my seven, I think they're 7.7 .7 ounce iced coffees that I use. That, that's just the ones I prefer in my Nespresso machine. Um, and I get so many questions all the time about my Nespresso machine. It is 100% worth it. Love the Nespresso, love the taste of the coffee. I always make iced coffee in it, and it is 100% worth it. Anyways, I picked this coffee up, it's 20, or this cup up, it's a 20 ounce cup from Walmart the built brand and it is the perfect size to go right there so i'm gonna put a little bit of this caramel creamer it's starbucks brand i'm gonna put go ahead and put a little bit of this in the bottom and let that kind of mix in with the coffee as it's making and then i'm gonna do let's just grab the audacio that was on top i don't prefer necessarily a certain brand i like several different brands of coffee uh, or different of the flavors, but we're going to do that one. All right, coffee's done. Before I put ice in it, I go ahead and add my heavy cream to cool it down because the coffee is very hot, and I don't want the ice to melt a bunch. And so to cool it down some, go ahead and add this before I add the ice to it. And I added ice, and that's my iced coffee, my favorite. I feel like it's always changing, but anytime I go to Starbucks, I always get a iced coffee with heavy cream and caramel syrup. Same thing that I just made, so it tastes identical to it. Um, so that is my first breakfast. We're going to go grab or run that couple errands that I need to do, and then I'll make... Usually, I don't eat like an actual breakfast till probably like 10 o'clock anyways. Um, just because I'm not hungry till then, especially if I drink coffee. So I will make that in just a little bit. So I am making myself breakfast and my plan was to make a breakfast sandwich. And I just realized that my bacon is not good. I um, always use, when I make myself breakfast in the mornings, I always use really easy microwave bacon and it tastes just as good. I feel like really good. Um, but it's been kind of open in the refrigerator for a couple weeks and I didn't realize I thought I had a whole nother one. So scratch that, we're gonna do something super simple, which I do this like a couple times a week when I wanna do a very, very easy breakfast. Um, when I'm on Weight Watchers, I don't do this kind. I do, uh, what is it, the whole grain waffles. 
but these are what I have. These are what my family really likes, the thick and fluffy Eggo waffles. So I'm gonna do these with some strawberries on it. That sounds really good. So simple, easy, quick. It's already after 10 o'clock. Something super easy for breakfast. had quesadillas for lunch and so I thought I'd make something similar not a quesadilla but I'm gonna do a wrap for lunch I got some chicken that I've been using for my salads that I'm gonna use and then I'm trying to think of what else I think I'm gonna do um, some chicken love this chicken I've talked about this on my grocery orders it tastes so good um, I think I'm gonna do that I think I have one already open that I need to grab I'm gonna use the one I have open and then, I always make mine like really simple, my wraps. All right, so we're gonna make like a wrap for lunch today. So I've got these flour. These are bigger ones than what my kids had. These are really better, better for wraps and stuff. So I am gonna start with this. I'm gonna go ahead and cook my chicken up. I like my cooking to chicken to be really good and cooked. So I am gonna start with that. Go ahead and cook the chicken that I'm gonna use for the wrap. I'm using the same pan that I made the girls' quesadillas in. <laughs> so it looks kind of dirty. They just got done a few minutes ago with lunch. All right, while the chicken's finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of ranch in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lettuce. We're gonna do some cheese. I, if y'all remember, I've made the, something similar to this several times um, when I was following Weight Watchers non-pregnant. And so, there's definitely healthier ways to make these. Very low in points. So, like I said, I like mine super simple. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna wait for my chicken to get done. Also, what would be really good, which I don't think I have any, is some like buffalo sauce, like Frank's hot sauce, and roll your chicken in that, especially because it's like putting ranch on it. That would be so good as well. I might have to do that next time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken. If y'all hear, Delaney is doing school in the background at the kitchen table. <laughs> All right, my chicken. And I'm gonna cook this up and get the tortilla nice and crispy. All right. So I'm gonna, this is pretty full, but I'm gonna start rolling. Go ahead and get this tortilla. I don't, I'm not very good at rolling tortillas, but we're just gonna do the best we can, like that. All right, and then I'm gonna lay it this side down. And let it start with a little butter in the pan instead of olive oil, and I'm gonna let that kinda crisp up. Okay. So, so I don't burn this, looks good. So we're gonna take that off. Looks and smells so good. It really does smell delicious. All right, there is my lunch. I think that's all I'm gonna have for lunch today. It looks delicious. So yummy, so simple, um, but it looks so good. Change my mind. Found these in my pantry. Thanks. Okay. Barbecue chips. I think we'll have just a few of these to go with it. So there's my lunch. Yeah. All right, we are starting some dinner. Ethan is about home. I had to get him to stop and grab some more chicken breasts because I had some here, but I was afraid I didn't have enough. 
So he's gonna grab that just to make sure I have enough. I have two like small pieces of chicken breast, but I need like at least two like large ones. We are making chicken parmesan. Super easy recipe. Um, in fact, I have never made this for our family at home. I we I love chicken parmesan. Never tried to make it, but I found I just started looking on Pinterest for different recipes and I've kind of just looked at different ones. That's my yogurt. I kind of just looked at different ones and found kind of like my own, just a simple recipe. That's my yogurt. All right, so I'm gonna get started. What I've got for this, I'm gonna do, I've got some pasta sauce. I've got this, I've never tried this one. I, just, I wanted like a better like quality one um, for this recipe versus what I typically buy, so that one looked pretty good. But I've got, I only need three separate bowls here. Um, I'm going to do some flour in one bowl. Oh, probably too much. Ooh, making a mess. And then I'm going to season that just with some salt and pepper. And then in the next bowl, we're going to do some Italian breadcrumbs. and some Parmesan cheese. I'm not measuring, I'm just doing whatever amount looks good to me. Um, just no measurements here, just kind of just winging it. And then in my last bowl, I am going to do two eggs. And that's gonna be like my breading for my chicken breast. So we've got the breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, our seasoned flour, and we've got eggs waiting on the chicken. And I'm gonna cut the chicken in half and start getting everything ready to be cooked. up some vegetable oil in my pan and I am taking my chicken breast and I'm dipping it in the flour mixture and then the egg mixture and then the panko uh, the breadcrumb and uh, parmesan cheese mixture and then I'm putting that in my pan um, just like that afterwards I will say that like I said this was my first time really making chicken parmesan love chicken parmesan I'm just never really trying to make it for my family but um, the chicken breasts ended up even though I cut them in half they ended up being really thick I just I guess without everything on them as well they were like starting to get too done in my pan even though like I always turn my heat down like way lower than um, what I feel like you typically should I feel like my it just cook mine just cooks a lot faster than it should but um, I ended up having to put, it ended up cooking a lot faster than I want it to. So I ended up taking it out of the pan once it got really crispy and putting it in the oven for like 10 minutes to finish cooking because it wasn't done on the inside. Anyways, this ended up being so good. I went ahead and lined my pan with the pasta sauce or the marinara sauce and then the chicken and then on top I added some more marinara some mozzarella cheese and just a little bit of parmesan cheese on top of that and I baked it for like 10 to 15 minutes just until the cheese got melted this was such a delicious meal we loved it Ethan and I ate it and we just loved it so much so this will definitely be on the rotation it is so easy to make I don't know why I've never really made it um, it don't look the prettiest once you see me plate it. I kind of wish I would have like done the chicken and the spaghetti like separate side by side, but it was so delicious even though it didn't look the prettiest. But anyway, so if you guys have never made chicken parmesan, it's such an easy and delicious meal. And then for dessert, I have been like craving strawberries all day and I've ate so many strawberries all day. My girls are big fruit eaters. And so we actually shared this dessert, dessert slash snack. I've actually snacked on this a little bit today too. I'm just doing some strawberries and some mini chocolate chips and they were this it was so delicious so the girls and I ended up sharing this together and it was so good but anyways this is ending my day I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoy what I eat in a day videos and I'll see you guys soon for another one bye